we're going to look at this sample, which has the knit two purl two ribbing. And first we're going to add a knit right here to show you how to do that make one. And it's nothing special, it's just a regular make one. So we're going to just continue in pattern, knit two, purl one. And then for the make one, we're going to lift this bar. Put the left needle into it from front to back. And then we knit it through the back loop. So like I said, nothing special about that. It's a regular make one. Okay, then we're going to continue in pattern. We're going to do that every time we come to the purl section. All right, so now here we are. And I've already done the make one on the previous round here on this one. So what I'm going to show you is how to take this one stitch and make it into seven. And that's really easy too. And it doesn't matter which hand you hold the yarn in. I hold it in my left hand. So we're going to go knit one into that stitch. It stays on the left needle. Pull up a big loop. Yarn over. Knit one. Yarn over. That's four. One, two, three, four. Knit one. Yarn over. Knit one. After we have all seven, we can drop it off the left needle and we've got the new stitches on the right needle and you can see how it stretched that stitch all out of shape. Now I'm going to go back and just show you it with, with my right hand. So now I'll show you it with my right hand because it is a little different because of how making yarn overs works with your right hand. Okay so we're going to go knit one and then the yarn over we bring the yarn to the front between the needles Okay, and then we're going to go back into the same stitch and knit one, bring it through, and yarn over. And I'm not very good with doing it with my right hand, but I hope you can see what, what is happening. The thing that's for me is very hard when doing my right hand is to make those super loose. Because as I said, I'm not really that good with this hand. But anyway, you do it all the way till you have the seven, and then you continue. Now, loose is nice for this. It's easier to work into the next row, but it's not really critical as if it were a noop because we're not gonna work them all together. They're gonna stay separate for a while. So on the next round, we're gonna go like knit, purl, 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 knit, and you'll see that on the chart. Let me just show you on the finished piece. If you look above the hole where we made the seven stitches, you can see there's a knit, purl, 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 knit. And we do that for two rounds before we switch to all knits. And then later we decrease to make this come to the point of the leaf. And that's all there is to that. I use the left slanting decrease here because I like the texture of it. I think it makes this more interesting. Of course, when you're looking at the other side, you can't really tell because it's all pearls, but the texture is still interesting because of the way the ribbing and the pattern sits together. Okay, so that's it. Get started. Work on your ribbing. It'll take you a little while, and then we'll continue on with the hat. I'll come back with another video later for the crown decrease. <laughs>